The cars used by the heads of state of any country are highly symbolic and often reflect the nation's values, prestige, and commitment to security. These cars are carefully designed while keeping the safety of presidents or prime ministers in mind. Many cars are custom-built because they need to be fast, reliable, and attack-proof. However, the detailed specifications of these cars are kept a closed secret. So we may never know what exact features each of these cars have. So, in this video let's have a look at the cars of top leaders that help them to move without any hassle while they plan the future of the country. Number 5. Russia, President's Oris Senate. Vladimir Putin navigates in an Oris Senate, one of the finest presidential cars whose civilian model boasts a price tag of 245,000 US dollars. However, the armored version, complete with plush interiors, commands a significantly higher cost. The Oris Senate stands as Russia's inaugural 598 horsepower all wheel drive luxury sedan, created on the orders of Putin. Weighing approximately 7 tons, this formidable vehicle is engineered to endure a spectrum of threats, from chemical attacks to bombs and sniper fire. Boasting an internal communication system and closed-circuit television CCTV, setup, the Oris Senate transforms into Putin's mobile command center. Crafted by Russia's Oris Motors, hailed as the nation's premier luxury car manufacturer, the vehicle embodies a symbol of opulence and security for the Russian president. Number 4. India. Prime Minister's Mercedes Maybach S650 Guard. The Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi is one of the world's most powerful leaders and requires top tier security. In December 2021, there was a report that the luxurious Mercedes Maybach S650 Guard had been added as an official vehicle in the Prime Minister's security detail. It boasts a VR10 level of ballistic protection, which is the highest grade for civilian vehicles. The body shell and the glass housing can withstand 15 kg TNT explosions as close as 2 meters and bullets fired from military-grade assault rifles. The doors are so heavy that they require an electric motor for opening and closing. The car comes with a 6-liter V12 engine, delivering an output of 650 horsepower. It has a self-sealing fuel tank and an internal emergency fresh air system to enhance safety features. According to the reports, the car cost exceeds 1.60 million US dollars. But as per Asian New International Government sources told a media house that the price of the car is one-third of the reported amount. Number 3. The UK, Prime Minister's Jaguar XJ. While many specifics are kept confidential, the current Range Rover Sentinel models are approximated to carry a hefty price tag of up to $506,642. Boasting an array of security features, these vehicles include a 13mm explosive-resistant steel plate beneath the body, cabins fortified with titanium and Kevlar, bullet-resistant polycarbonate toughened glass on armored windows, and run-flat tires. With the capability to endure hits from 7.62mm high-velocity, armor-piercing rounds, these cars now fall under the VPAM9 classification in the new system, up from the previous B7 level. This upgrade suggests enhanced resilience, capable of withstanding a blast equivalent to 15 kilograms of TNT and sustained attacks from various armor-piercing weapons. Number 2. China, President's Hongqi N501. The Hongqi N501 serves as the official vehicle for Chinese President Xi Jinping, its name translating to Red Flag in Chinese, a fitting designation for the leader of the Chinese Communist Party. She was observed in this car during his travels to India in 2019. This four-door sedan, measuring approximately 18 feet in length and 6.5 feet in width, features a broad front grille reminiscent of other official state cars, such as those by Rolls-Royce. The vehicle is equipped with an automatic transmission and is propelled by a 402 horsepower turbocharged V8 engine, boasting a maximum range of 800 kilometers on a full tank. Weighing around 3,000 kilograms, the Hongqi N501 is heavily armored, although specific details remain undisclosed. Manufactured by the state-owned First Auto Works FAW, group since 1958, the Hongqi brand is renowned for producing high-quality luxury cars reportedly utilized by senior government officials. However, it remains unclear if the N501 is part of the current lineup, as the official carmaker's website does not list this particular model. Number 1. The USA, President the Beast. 
Undoubtedly the most renowned official vehicle for any world leader, the beast commonly referred to as the Cadillac One, is meticulously designed to ensure the safety of the US president. Introduced during George W. Bush's presidency in 2001, an updated version was unveiled during Barack Obama's tenure, with the current version making its debut in 2018 under President Donald Trump. Often hailed as the safest car in the world, this heavily armored limousine, crafted by General Motors, surpasses its predecessor in security measures. Boasting five layers of glass and polycarbonate reinforced windows capable of withstanding substantial bullets, a 5-inch thick military-grade armored body, and 8-inch thick doors equivalent to the weight of a Boeing 757 cabin door, the Beast offers unparalleled protection. Its fuel tank is shielded by explosion prevention foam, resilient to RPG hits, and features a secure environmental system to counter chemical and gas attacks. The car includes provisions for a steady oxygen supply and emergency blood banks matching the president's blood type. The tires are Kevlar reinforced and cannot be damaged by projectiles or blasts. The car is not only designed for defense but is also equipped with limited offensive measures, including pump action shotguns, tear gas launchers, and an oil slick. It also has a night vision camera. Weighing almost 10,000 kilograms, the Beast is a veritable battle tank with the best possible luxurious features for the president's comfort. More than one Beast was bought from General Motors for a reported price of 22 million US dollars during Trump's time. At last, as we look to the future, it is likely that presidential cars will continue to adapt to emerging technologies, environmental concerns, and security requirements. Whether electric vehicles become the norm or new materials and design concepts enhance safety and efficiency, the presidential car will remain a symbol of leadership and authority. What do you think the future holds for presidential cars in terms of technological advancements, sustainability, and the ever-evolving landscape of security needs? How might these iconic vehicles continue to shape the image of leadership in the years to come?